Austrian investor and developer, Steve Whitkoff. He's chairman and CEO of Whitkoff. I, I don't get it, Steve. The offices are not fully reopened. Foreign buyers have not really come back. Who are all these buyers? Boy, they're, they're everybody, Sarah. Mortgage rates are cheap. Tons of money was made in the last year and year and a half. And I think people want to own um, want to own something substantial. And that's why the, the, there's, it's, it's the biggest momentum trade I've seen in maybe all of my career. Yeah, I remember you joining us last year and saying that the rebound would just be temporary. It would be short-lived because it was a price correction. And you, you just you didn't believe that it had... It had deeper roots. Are you still saying that, that this is some, a sort of a short-lived phenomenon? No, I think good things are happening out there, and it's fundamental. There's, there's been a good mayoral election, in particular, in New York. I think people are more confident today. I think that the vaccines have been effective, and Omicron is, is sort of seen as not all that much more than a cold. It's, it's a little bit like that. I just... I just think the markets aren't reacting to it in, 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 in a way that, uh, that they did to uh, COVID. And so all of that blended together means that people want to buy again. I, I, there's no doubt that Manhattan has exceeded uh, its, its prior highs recently. And it's a surprise to many, but uh, it's, a healthy, it's a healthy thing. Uh, when I mean healthy on, on one level, Steve, but if you're saying it's it's the greatest momentum trade you've ever seen, uh, are there not concerns as well that that we might be in the kind of last run up for for what really, despite the blip of the pandemic, has been a 12, 13 year bull market? I actually don't think so, Wilfred. I'll tell you this: we, we just bought a very big deal in um, in New York, seventy six eleven. Um, it was a problem that um, was. It was in foreclosure, all kinds of mortgage defaults. We bought the debt and then converted it into ownership. And it's a half a million square feet of apartments. And we think we're going to sell pretty quickly. And I'm not, I'm not pumping the deal that we just bought. I'm just we're giving you what I'm going to, what I'm going to say is a, um, is a granular answer to your question. Uh, inflation, there's no doubt that there's inflation out there. Uh, payroll costs are way up. Commodity costs are way up. So I think people sense that buyers. And if you can buy something ex existing today, it, it's, it, I mean, the trade is on. I'm, d I'm down in Miami now. There is no inventory to buy down here. You can't buy on the beach. It gets snapped up almost immediately. There are no homes on the water to buy down here. And this is not just a high-end phenomenon. This is a phenomenon that is gravitating to the, uh, the middle uh, uh, the, the middle piece of the marketplace. So um, I think that there's just a sense that we're in a Goldilocks period. 